Have you been thinking about making the jump and upgrading the grinding burr on your Baratza Encore grinder? Say you want to go from the M3 to the M2, but you don't know the difference? We're going to show you what they are today on FrenchPressCoffee.com. Hey everyone, I'm Brian with FrenchPressCoffee.com. Thank you as always for tuning in here in our virtual coffee shop. And as I said in the introduction to this video, today what we're talking about is what is the difference between the Baratza M2 conical burr and the Baratza M3 conical burr? I'm going to show you a few of the differences, talk about the machines that you can use them in, and why you may want to make the upgrade. Now specifically, what I am talking about today is if you have the Baratza Encore grinder, which we've talked about a lot here on the channel, you may be considering making the jump to a different conical burr in order to replace the grinding burr that is in it. Now, I should note real quickly, both of these are going to last pretty much forever, so the decision to upgrade really depends on the type of coffee grind that you're going to be looking for. We'll get into that later. But a quick note. The Baratza Encore comes with the M3 conical burr. And there's a difference between this one and the burr that comes with the Baratza Virtuoso, which is the M2. Now, quick note, I know what you're thinking. Sounds like if I'm talking about upgrading that you would think that these numbers would be flipped and reversed. They're not. I know, could be a little weird, but don't worry about it. We're gonna talk you through it. So let's talk about the burr that comes with the Baratza Encore. So this is the M3 burr right here. And what you're gonna notice about this one is that it has these very flat edges right here. So now let me compare that with the M2 burr. And you're gonna notice that the M2 has a very distinct difference. It has these almost razor or knife-like edges on it. Now these edges are gonna be really useful if you're looking to do espresso grind. So if you're looking for very, very finely ground coffee, this is a very good bet for that. Now, as I say, if you were to be stepping up to a Barazza Virtuoso, you would be spending more money on that grinder as it is, and you would also have that new burr in it as well. You would have the M2 burr. But let's say you have a Barazza Encore grinder, like the one that I've got right here, which comes with that M3 burr, which has those flatter edges on it. Maybe you want to upgrade because you want to get a little more selective about your grind. Well, in that case, you could consider adding the M2 to your setup. Real quickly, some technical notes about these two burrs. They are both 40 millimeter conical burrs. You can see same diameter around and pretty much I mean, the exact same size. Biggest difference here is going to be in the blades that you find on the grinders themselves. Another big difference that you're going to find is going to be the price difference. The M2 burr is going to come in at a higher price than that M3. And remember, the Baratza Encore grinder comes with the M3 conical burr installed in it. So the decision that you would have to make here would be, do you want to upgrade your Encore? or are you looking to purchase an entirely different coffee grinder? This would be one that would depend obviously on your budget and the type of grind that you're looking to do. Myself, I do really enjoy espresso and ground espresso specifically, so I could definitely see a benefit in upgrading to that M2. However, if you're just looking to use your grinder as it comes stock factory, that M3 is still going to give you an excellent grind. Remember, you can check out our videos here on the channel to find out how to use the Baratza Encore as well. So what's the ultimate big difference here? Why would you want to make this upgrade? Well, bottom line is that the M2 conical burr is going to give you a more even grind. It's gonna be more well suited to very fine grinds, which again would mean espresso. If you're trying to get that overall grind level down really, really, really low, then you would wanna to go to the M2. However, if you're looking for a electric and automated grinder that's gonna be best suited to espresso, you'd wanna take a look at the Baratza Seta grinder. And the one other major difference that could be a big one for some folks is you're going to see a faster grind time, or in other words, you're going to spend less time grinding if you are using the M2. And that's pretty much largely in part due to those very razor or knife-like edges that are on the M2 conical burr. And what's my bottom line when it comes down to talking about the Baratza M3 versus M2 conical burrs? Well, here it is. First of all, if you are looking to be really specific about your grind, you want to get that grind level very low, you want to spend less time grinding, 
you might want to consider upgrading to the M2. And again, you can use this in your Baratza Encore. However, if you're looking to consistently grind espresso and get that espresso grind, I would suggest jumping up to the Baratza Seta grinder. And then finally, if you're pretty happy with what you've got with the Baratza Encore, that M3 burr that comes with it, again, is excellent. It's going to have an extremely long lifespan. Just take care of it. We've got some videos that will show you how to take care of your grinder as well. Take care of it, and it's going to give you really great consistent grinding. It just happens to be that if you want to make the upgrade, there is potentially a reason to do that to jump up to the M2. So there you have it. Two conical burrs from Barazza. Again, the M3 in my left hand and the M2 in my right. And I hope that that has given you guys a little bit of insight as to how and why it is that you might want to make this upgrade. But if you have any questions or comments, make sure to check out the link in the description of this video. You can also find links to these products right down there. And if you have questions, again, feel free to get in touch with us because we're here to help you at FrenchPressCoffee.com. And one quick note, folks have sometimes asked, when should I replace my burr? Well, as I say, these have a great lifespan, but Barazza themselves suggests replacing your burr after you've ground a whopping 500 pounds of coffee. That's quite a lot. We've probably ground about that much here in the studio. I would think so. So we might be due for an upgrade someday soon too. Thanks for tuning in everyone. I'm Brian with French Press Coffee. I'll see you next time and take care. Did you like that caffeine-fueled video? Well, if so, give us a thumbs up. It's right over here. And make sure to subscribe, and I'm going to tell you an awesome coffee quote. Don't worry, I can wait. Go ahead. It's right there. Yeah? You got it? All right, and here's my quote. Sleep is a symptom of caffeine deprivation.